Hey, good morning everybody from Disney Springs. Today we're gonna play a little bus roulette. What is bus roulette, you say? Well, I came to Disney Springs this morning, parked the car, and I'm gonna go over to where the Disney Resort buses come into the park. I'm gonna jump on the first bus of a resort that we haven't covered here on the channel. So come along with me. So once you go through that little covered area, you're gonna come out here into where all the buses drop off for Disney Spring. We're gonna jump on the first bus we can. All right, there's our bus pulling up right now. If I can catch up to it. So I have to admit, this is not an original idea. There's another YouTube vlogger, a very famous YouTube vlogger. I used to do these videos. I watched him for years do them. And so I'm very happy to be doing one of these myself today. He used to refer to himself as King of the Bus. Now, who's King of the Bus? Okay, everybody, welcome to the Old Key West Resort. This is the first time I have ever stepped foot on this resort property. I'm gonna be learning right along with you today. So the bus dropped me off right up here. It says uh, North Cove Road. And over the Pulpo Share. Directly to the left is the uh, Conk Flats General Store. So, a sort of a waypoint uh, out straight ahead of me, that's where the bus dropped us off. And if we turn around, over here on the left is the uh, store we just went through, and over on the right is the check-in area. Okay, so this is that sort of long hallway we just came down. Check-in is all over there on the left. Olivia's is on the right, and Joan Shore's on the right. So if we really come this way, there's the, uh, the grab-and-go, the bar, and the pool. Sandcastle pool, our Sandcastle side over there. All right, here we got Conk Flats Community Hall. We're in the Surreys, the two seat Surreys, and the four seat Surreys. No bikes. So we're on the back side of the sandcastle over here. We'll take a little kiddie pool over there, a little beach area, and a playground. Got a volleyball net, hammocks. Looks like a fire pit over there in the distance. to Olivia's, which is the sit-down restaurant here at Old Key West. Um, I've never been here before. I've heard they got pretty good food. They have a brunch menu and a dinner menu. I don't know when the hours change. I'll try to put that info right here for you. But on the brunch menu, um, it's currently 12.35. And, uh, you know, it's standard brunch, lunch and breakfast on there. I'm opting for the fried chicken. I really had a hankering when I started off this morning at Disney Springs. I really had a hankering for homecoming and that fried chicken. So we're going to give this one a try and do a little compare and contrast. I'll let you know. Okay, food has arrived. I got the fried chicken, mashed potatoes, the biscuit, and some green beans. It looks so, so good. Mm, potatoes and gravy are really good. Green beans are green beans. Now, 
from the main event. So that chicken is moist. It's really, really good. The, uh, the breading, the, cr the crust is really flavorful. Now, the biscuit, I don't know about. It's a little soft and mushy. He brought it out with honey and butter. So that obviously made it a lot better, but that's the only thing I think on this plate that I would maybe ding a little bit. If that was fresher, maybe a little firmer, that'd be better. Okay, so a quick uh, Olivia's review. That was good. I enjoyed it. It didn't have a very expansive menu. The chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, really, really good. I would go back there and I would have that again. So pretty pleased with that. So we're going to take uh, and try and walk off some of this food. I um, want to walk around some of the resort. It's pretty much all the same. I think there's another pool over here we're going to find. Then there's two ways to get back to Disney Springs. One is the bus, and then we're going to take the second back to Disney Springs. So if you're familiar with DVC, this was the original DVC resort. It's the oldest DVC resort. This resort has studio rooms, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom villas. Being a DVC member is not the only way that you can stay at this resort. You can also rent these rooms just like regular hotel rooms through uh, the Disney World website. There are also sites where you can rent DVC points and sometimes you get a much better deal by renting the DVC points to use to stay here than you if you were to rent it directly from Disney. I'm currently right across this or uh, right by Vacation Home 30 and 31 and I wanted to point out there's more tennis courts over here. So there are four soccer pools here. This is one of the quiet pools. This is also the turtle shack, uh, other snack bar. So this is the only quiet pool that has a food location also. You see it back in the background. There is a playground back there as well. This resort is pretty sprawling, but uh, it, as far as like showing you around, there's not much to see because it is just blocks of buildings and parking lots and, and roads but uh, it is beautiful beautifully landscaped uh, well maintained the buildings look fantastic all brightly colored all right so you may have seen earlier the other way to get back to disney springs from here at old key west is to take the boat that's how we're going to get back to disney springs this afternoon goes through the canals and back over into the lake there at disney springs Well, there you have it uh, a trip over to old key west took the boat back ate at olivia's walked around the resort looked at the pool and uh, overall saw a brand new resort that's awesome thank you guys for coming along with me today if you've never lost then never found so go get lost